All right. <laughs> All right. Well, hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us here today. Uh, I'm Cam Linke. I'm the CEO here at AMI, the Alberta Machine Intelligence Institute. And we're really excited to host you here at, at AMI HQ and you know, host you online for our friends who are joining on the live stream there. Uh, many of you know about AMI, um, but for those who don't, um, AMI is one, uh, one of Canada's three national AI institutes tasked with, it, with advancing Canada's AI potential. And we're gratefully supported by um, both ICED um, and CIFAR nationally and by the province of Alberta with Innovation and Technology and Alberta Innovates here in Alberta. Um, and we're really proud to collaborate as, with, with our core partner in all of this, the University of Alberta, in driving forward AI research. Um, and so we're really excited to have you here today to, to discuss some exciting news around what we're doing to lead in AI literacy and education. Um, just before we get going, I'd like to acknowledge that we're located on Treaty 6 territory, a traditional gathering place for Indigenous peoples, including the Cree, Blackfoot, Métis, Nakota Sioux, Haudenosaunee, Dene, Ojibwe, Sotu, Anishinaabe, Inuit, and many other peoples whose histories, languages, and cultures continue to influence our vibrant community. These lands have been used for many years for sharing and for knowledge exchange, and we're excited and in that spirit to talk about bringing people together for, for knowledge exchange and for sharing here today. Artificial intelligence, AI, is an area that's continued to grow over the last decade with the impact accelerating in the last few years. Likely everyone in this room and online has heard of things like ChatGPT um, or used it or maybe everybody's in a presentation now or somebody makes the joke that they promised their, their talk wasn't, you know, made by, wasn't written by ChatGPT. And it just really emphasizes just how ubiquitous AI has become in our society overall. And all this has really reinforced the incredible need for broad AI literacy. In a world where AI's impact is everywhere, we need to have AI literacy be everywhere. We need to have students, employees, and citizens everywhere to have a broad understanding of AI, enabling them to both be part of AI's optimistic future, as well to make sure that we have as many informed voices as possible in deciding its future and influencing it. So today, we're really proud to partner with the U of A to double down on our investment in AI talent with the launch of AI Everywhere. It's a non-technical introductory course designed to provide essential AI literacy skills and, uh, and understanding made available to all U of A undergrad students across all disciplines. Designed by Adam White and Alana Fish, both Amy Fellows, Canada CIFAR AI chairs, and U of A professors, the AI Everywhere course will immerse students in an optimistic and humanistic approach to the field and give students foundational understanding in how AI works and the broader implications that the technology is going to have both on our local and global society. The course is open now and it's open for registration and will start online delivery next semester, January, starting right at the start of January 2024. And we're excited that this course isn't just the beginning, or is just the beginning. <laughs> need, need to, yeah, yeah, I know, I need ChatGPT, jeez. Uh, we're working on an AI Everywhere um, certificate that the AI Everywhere course will act as a cornerstone for. It's an in-process certificate embedded um, that will be one of the first of its kind offered to all undergrad students and the one of the first of its kind by a top global university. AI Everywhere will serve as a critical step forward in providing undergrad students with the opportunity to develop their individual potential and gain the AI knowledge that they'll need to fully take place in the modern workplace. As we were discussing the course and discussing its impact, one of the things that came up repeatedly was questions by parents about the impact that AI is going to have on their kids' future. So to help launch the course, uh, Amy is hosting a free interactive online session in November called Parenting in the Era, Era of AI. 
I'll be hosting this session in early November and invite parents and learners of all ages who want to know more about the impact and opportunities of AI for their children. Making sure that parents are equipped to help both their children navigate the future of AI and to navigate it themselves is paramount. And we're excited to be able to help grow the AI literacy as well, of parents as well as part of this webinar. You know, a recent study about AI in the workforce showed that 52% of recent graduates said that the growth of AI makes them question how prepared they are to enter the workforce. AI Everywhere is directly, it directly assesses the global demand for AI expertise and AI literacy that will give U of A students a competitive edge in the job market. By preparing a versatile and capable workforce, we're investing in Alberta's AI talent pool and creating direct pathways for Alberta companies to access the talent that they need to succeed, thereby driving opportunities for AI commercialization and solidifying Alberta's position as a global AI leader. We're excited to partner with the U of A once again and work with an incredible group of people who pursue such ambitious projects. AI Everywhere comes uh, as an opportune moment, as Amy previously announced with the U of A, an initiative to recruit 20 new researchers to the University of Alberta. And today's announcement between the U of A and Amy deepens our shared vision to advance world-leading AI research and education, further propell propelling Alberta to the forefront of AI innovation. I'm really excited for the ambitious journey that we're embarking on together and for the impact that AI everywhere will have on students and their ability to fulfill their potential. And it's been really incredible to work with, you know, President Flanagan. Um, we talk a lot about ambition here at Amy, being ambitious and taking on ambitious things. And this is an ambitious project. And it was incredible to work with Bill and, and his team to really be able to, to tackle this and be, work, be able to work with a team who's excited and ambitious about doing world-changing things like that. So with that, it's my distinct pleasure to invite to the stage President of the University of Alberta, Bill Flanagan. Uh, thank you, Cam. And I'm really delighted to be here today to join in the launch of AI Everywhere. And this is a course that I think Cam and I were, when I first met Cam, we were kicking around some ideas. And I said, we're one of the world's leading research institutions on AI. What can we do to make AI more accessible? Not only to all of our students, Cam had mentioned, open to all U of A students, we're going to the world with the AI everywhere. This is an online program that we can make available to universities around the globe. And being one of the world's leading research institutions on AI, this is an opportunity for us to share that knowledge, not only with our students at the University of Alberta, but students from across Alberta, Canada, and around the world. And AI, as we all know, is changing everything around us. And my own field is I'm a law professor, and I have to tell you, lawyers worry a lot about AI. <laughs> ChatGPT really, really alarmed us. Although you'll, 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 you might have read that case. I think it was in Arizona. A lawyer had asked ChatGPT to prepare a brief, and ChatGPT made up all the cases. <laughs> they didn't actually exist. So, so we're not quite there yet. But. Um, AI is, of course, having a huge impact, not only on the legal profession, on healthcare, on business, on energy, on really any career path our students might pursue. They need an understanding of what AI is, the potential it holds for their profession, and the impact that it's going to have, not, not only on them, but their profession in the world. So this is where Cam and I sat down with Cam and I said, Cam, we, we, we ought to develop an online pro a program. And we're doing it online because we want this to be broadly available to all of our students. And it's going to be asynchronous, I believe. So what this means is that students, no matter what their course load, and they don't need to worry about fitting this course in with their existing courses. They can take this course uh, at their, you know, their own pace and in, in, in a time frame that works for them. And so what that means is health sciences students, chemical engineers, business students, I mean, anyone can take this course at the University of Alberta. And this is a part of a suite of online offerings that we're developing. And Jessica, is Jessica here today? I guess Jessica, but Scott, she's leading our online and continuing education initiative at the University of Alberta. So we have developed expertise in-house to design and deliver top quality online programming. And we never had that before. Prior to COVID, we, you know, we, we were not really in the game of online design and delivery of programs. And I thought coming out of COVID, we've all seen the power of what online can do. 
and let's use that to really leverage the existing research strengths at the University of Alberta. So we started with the Peter Lahid Leadership Certificate, which is launched now and has over 2,000 students enrolled. I'm expecting similar ambition for AI everywhere. And as Cam mentioned, this is going to be part of a certificate, so we'll be rolling this out as, so you can get your, B, you know, your BA in history and come out with a certificate and an understanding of what AI is. Not, not at the level of a computer scientist, but you're going to be literate in a way that uh, the, our society urgently needs, given the importance of AI. So I really wanted to mention Adam and uh, White and Ilona Fish, who are CIFAR AI chairs and Amy Fellows. I recall a dinner with Adam and Cam and uh, Rich and, other, and Martha and other, others of your colleagues. And I was gently twisting Adam's arm. I said, Adam, you've got to do this. This is going to have huge impact. And I think Adam scratched his head and said, what, an online course for undergrads, like an AI who aren't computer scientists? Why would I do that? I said, it's going to have huge impact uh, in advancing AI literacy for our students, which I, which I know is a goal that we all share. So I'm really grateful to you, Adam, and to Alona, and I just also want to mention Jessica for all of the great work she did to make this possible. You'll be seeing more of these programs coming out of the University of Alberta, areas where, where we have signature research strength, energy, health. I mean, this is only the beginning, but I, I was really thrilled to begin with uh, the Peter Lougheed leadership and now AI. These are areas where the U of A is really going to shine. So thank you again, Cam, for your leadership. This also reflects a very important partnership with Amy and the University of Alberta. We are connected at the hip, and this is a partnership that is of enormous value to us, and this is just one example of all that we can do with that partnership. Uh, so with that, I'd like to invite Minister Gublish to the, to, to the podium. And just before I do that, I just want to thank the Minister for all of his ongoing support for the University of Alberta. I have to tell you, we have a great champion uh, for the University of Alberta in Cabinet, and I, I very much appreciate that. And I think that the Minister really understands the importance of what we do in universities. And sometimes we don't do a very good job of explaining that to people. But we've got a Minister who really does champion us and champion universities in, in, in Alberta. So I want to extend my thanks to you and welcome you to the podium. Thank you. Well, thank you, Bill, for those kind words. And thank you, Cam. Uh, and just a big thank you to everyone at Amy and the U of A for all of the outstanding work that you are doing, putting Alberta on the map on the global stage in a big way. Um, you know, I, I, for those of you who don't know me, my background was as a tech investor. I worked for a number of venture capital funds before getting into to, uh, to politics. And, you know, that life before politics just opened my eyes to the power and the possibility of what technology can do. And it's led me to say, and if you have heard me speak before, you've heard me say this, I guarantee it, technology is not just an industry. It is the future of every industry. But that's not all. Some of the most exciting advances in technology are AI driven. And, uh, you know, there are references made by uh, Cam and by Bill today about ChatGPT, which is one of the biggest mainstream AI tools that I think really has propelled the AI conversation to the kitchen table with ordinary families all around the world. But what folks don't r realize necessarily is that AI has been a cornerstone of research and innovation in Alberta for 20 years. Uh, and the, the University of Alberta and uh, Amy and its predecessor organization have been the foundational elements of that. And so we are very fortunate to live in Alberta at a time when technology is evolving at such a rapid pace, when data science and machine learning and artificial intelligence are the cornerstones of all of the most exciting advances in technology all around the world in every single industry, from healthcare to energy, from manufacturing to aerospace and everything in between. We have some of the smartest minds on the planet in these spaces living right here in Alberta. That is something to be really proud of. Um, and so for me, I've been extremely excited as a minister to be able to be a financial supporter of research and innovation at the U of A and at Amy, and, uh, and just a champion and a storyteller to help get the message out to the mainstream. Sometimes we're really good at talking amongst ourselves, amongst tech nerds, right? But how do we tell that story to ordinary Albertans so that even though they may not become AI researchers or uh, startup 
CEOs, for them to at least be able to say, I'm proud to be Albertan, and I'm proud to live in the most innovative jurisdiction in Canada. That, for me, is my vision for all, every Albertan, is to be able to say those two things. And thanks to the leadership and the vision of Bill uh, and Cam at the U of A and at Amy, I am confident that we are well on our way to achieving those objectives. And the AI Everywhere program is going to be a big part of that. Because we need, yes, of course, we need the researchers and the, the globally recognized leaders and talent and um, entrepreneurs and innovators, but we also need literacy amongst our entire society about what is AI? What can it do? What kind of problems can it solve? And how is it different from the traditional status quo way of tackling problems? What are the risks? What are the challenges that these new tools and technologies might bring into our society? We need to wrestle with these conversations, not just with a small group of researchers, but we need that to be a part of our mainstream consciousness across Alberta and around the world. And I am so proud to be an Albertan, to be a part of a province where we have a university like the U of A, and we have an institute like AMI, and the bright minds uh, that are a part of those organizations leading this conversation, not just for Alberta, not just for Canada, but for the entire world. So uh, join me in thanking and paying our appreciation to the team behind this exciting announcement. I cannot wait to see what kind of uh, stories this will unlock and, and opportunities this will deliver for Albertans and for Canadians and for the world. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Minister Glubish. Thanks everyone for coming here today. Uh, we'll be setting up to answer any questions from media. In the meantime, I would invite all of our guests in the, to join us in the cafe for coffee, or if you want to sleep tonight, some non-caffeinated beverages from our friends over at Philly Sticks, um, and to, t to take a, a look at uh, our co-working space. So thanks again so much for coming, everyone. We're really excited about this announcement and what we're going to do to drive forward AI everywhere. Thanks. <laughs>